Hi Grant, uh, Don Green from DG Digital Services. Um, thought I'd just pass on a little bit of information for you that could assist if you've got your own team of people that um, may look at the SEO or just the back end of your computer on I mean, your website, so to speak. Um, just the information for you. If you need a hand, um, obviously you can give me a call and we can go from there. But uh, if you have someone that does it, that's all good too. Just give this to them if you feel it's uh, relevant. So I'm um, just going to go over a couple of things, but I will address three main topics which can help you straight away, which is um, content backlinks and citations. Uh, I see here that you have a clickable phone number. That's fantastic because the majority of people search things on their phone now. So with that clickable number, um, all they have to do is touch it. So you do have contact, so you can do that email there. Sometimes when you have an email address, um, marketing agencies, spammers and all that, sort of like take advantage of it being like this on your on your top of your site and you could get a lot of um, spammy emails and marketing stuff and everything like that as well so something to keep in mind I did notice that um, you still got your Christmas holidays thing here from last year so uh, obviously hasn't been looked at for for, for a while Maybe um, just get that edited and drop that Christmas stuff off there if um, that's all you need to do. Um, with content, Google being a business just like you and me, um, they try to be the best they be by when people would put in a search, let's say Signs Midland, into the browser, into their search engine, um, they find the most authoritative website that they can um, to go to the top and um, one of the things they look at in regard to content is they like to have uh, let's say around a thousand to fifteen hundred words of authoritative content on the on the home page um, so you've got about Five to six hundred words, five hundred actually, I think it is five oh nine. So um, there's definitely room for improvement there, where we could add the um, the keywords and stuff like that in. So, and you know, we can add keywords in in a, a lot of different ways besides the contact as well. So this here is an image, obviously. If I just was to right click that, save image as. You know, uh, this here, Square College, one of, that is actually um, what Google could be looking for for a keyword. So when you um, have these saved on your computer in the file name, actually name them the, the keyword that you want it to be found for in regards to um, your industry before you put it onto the website because that's a that there's a wasted opportunity like and um, you really can um, you really can utilize that process by um, by getting as many extra keywords in as you can okay so um, if I did was just to have a, a quick look at the back end of your site it says you've got 4,000 backlinks but the thing is it's only from five domains your domain rating is at zero it's from zero to 100 uh, so there's only one way we can go with that at the moment you are ranked 170 million um, you know, so there's work to be done if you want to be there. And your organic keywords, you have 38. And I did have a look at some and, um, you know, besides your own name, uh, some of them didn't seem relevant, like Midland Signs, which is 20, but you're on page two for that. 
um, Farrell Road, yeah, supermarket, dance floors, Perth. You know, you're, you're on um, page five, but there is 26, and I, and I started getting confused while you, while you were found for dance floors. Um, but it's per supermarket. These are shopping centres, so it, you know it's it's important that the content is written properly. But dance floors it come up a couple of times, and so um, I actually sort of like worked out what it was. If I um, go to your blog here, and how I was talking about this is a wasted opportunity. So if we go to your blog, and then um, I see you've got dance floor the the monograms there so if i was to right click save image dance floor see you're at that's actually worked as a keyword for you but wrong industry so if that was um utilized properly like sign writers midland or whatever the people are searching for if, if this photo was named that you would actually be getting found for whatever that keyword is but um you're actually getting found for dance floors so um yeah there's, there's lots of little things like that but that that's that's okay because we know how to fix that and it's an easy fix um i did do a google search and um for signs midland um, you see Sinorama, they're paying Google to be on top. Um, they're paying again to be on top here. So Google looks after them because they can actually put them up here by themselves, you know, obviously with the power that they have. They just they can put you anywhere they want. But um, we can still get you here um, with our own... Uh, ways of optimizing that but sign uh, there number one and number two on that page one you are down here but you're just on the top of page two so if you're not on the top half of page one it's without sounding mean on it it's irrelevant um, so we can definitely do stuff here so that's with the the content and things like that um, the backlinks a backlink is like I showed you there. You've uh, you've got like four thousand somehow, but um, it's only coming from five sites, so they don't show you any power, which would obviously explain the zero with your domain rating. Because at this rate, um, you have over like um, you probably got about uh, I don't know five domains like you nearly got a thousand or under just under a thousand obviously um, links per one site that's just that's just massive and it's um, counter counterproductive to be honest so you want this ratio to be similar like um, if I was to go over to your opposition um, they have a beast of a site as signorama.com.au but as far as Midland's concerned they still have a great that's a still a very powerful domain rating but they only have 21 backlinks in regard to Midland but you can see it's coming from nine you know so um, it's just an average of over two per site you know and you're looking at um, I don't know, nine or nine hundred or something. So, but anyway, um, and they've got twenty-two keywords. You have thirty-eight. But see, the thing is, um, Signorama Midland number one, Signs Midland number one. Okay, so but then they start just being very average. You know, page five, page five page five so um, that's good news for you because um, we can definitely uh, help you out there and a backlink is um, basically um, your website address on somebody else's website be it a directory be it um, um, an organization that you're a part of some kind of signing administration just 
you know, the sign writing industry, they're, they're really powerful for you because it's in the same industry. Uh, but yeah, so a backlink is like a popularity thing. So the more backlinks you have, that's one thing. But from the more websites that are pointing at you, uh, that helps. And backlinks aren't equal, obviously, because some are way better than others. Like the that Sinorama had 21. You've got 4,000 apparently, so I don't know how that works. It just doesn't sound right. Um, but those 21s are probably coming from nine really good sites where your five sites um, mightn't have a lot of power at all. So that's that. Um, the last thing we can talk about is citations. A citation is what actually gets you in to the map pack. Okay, so um, this company here would probably have more citations than this one. And all the citation is, is your business name, address and phone number on the internet. And that could be in a matter of directories, um, uh, even on the footer of your own website. If it's put in there correctly, that will count as a citation. And you'd be surprised. Some of these businesses here might only have 20 or 30 on the internet, and they're in here. So we could um, give you 40 or 50, and um, what's over the next few months, you creeping up this um, list of GMB so because I'd imagine there's a few of them there you know so you got see sign supermarket you're only your what's that one two three four five six so your position six so you have only three out of that map pack so we can definitely um, help you with citations. We can probably put another 20 citations um, around the internet of your business, and that may just push you into, into that uh, section of the maps when people do a Google search. And if you're in that top three there, plus, in the top three positions here on page one, generally those six companies would be getting 85% of the calls. So if you're in here and here, like Sinorama, you know, they're double dipping. So, you know, they're getting some good volumes of calls. So um, we can take you from page two up to page one, that's not a problem, and push you up to the top of that with the backlinks to power your site up. Um, but it, your site just does need an overhaul in regard to the powering side of it because um, the site's one thing, but the, the power is a completely different beast. So um, I hope that wasn't too much over your head and you understood it a little bit there so if you feel that this is helpful and you do have someone to help you um pass on the information let them sort of like have a look what i've shown you and um you can learn from there so um if you did need uh any assistance from me yeah i'm only a phone call away right so you know anytime and I can uh, help you look at what can be done in regards to the powering of your site and the content and how we put in the keywords and um, just produce power for you so you won't have a problem there okay so I hope that helped and like I say Don Green from DG Digital Services and I'll talk to you soon mate.